<laughs> that was amazing. I could just listen to them all day long. I know. Can we just do that some more and just not talk? That yeah. <laughs> well, that's Steel Union. They came from Nashville. And uh, I guess I first want to start, and we also have some students here from Kindred because you're going to be playing, and we're going to talk a little bit about your message for students as well. But I want to start by asking, so I know, Rachel, you have quite the uh, resume. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> Donnie, you have a North Dakota connection. You're from Steel. Yep. And t together, the three of you are just amazing. But how did, how did you get together? You met by chance. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, I actually walked into a bar and met Donnie's roommate. And the next night, we went to karaoke in Nashville, which is uh, always a good time. And so we, we met sort of organically through <laughs> friends and then eventually decided we wanted to become a band. You sound like you were starting at a joke. So I walk into yeah. a bar. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Girl walks into a bar and <laughs> finds a band. Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> I bet that does happen often in Nashville. Yeah. But you guys, like, it's just, it's meant to be. You sound yeah, so great you. together. Thank you so much. And we're good friends to top it all off. So it's a lot of fun. So can you tell them about your instrument? I mean, do you call that a guitar? What do you uh, call it's it? A resonator guitar or a dobro for brand name. But um, it's, a uh, dobro. it's like a steel guitar, like the, the electric pedal steel. But it's <laughs> set up to where you slide and you have uh, banjo picks on this hand. Wow. So that's it's crazy. a lot different than a guitar. So how long did it take you louder. to get that skill set? I mean, it's fantastic. Um, years. I grew up in a family band atmosphere on my mom's side. I had a bluegrass band and I traveled all, all over the country in a bluegrass circuit. So I was just around all of these acoustic bluegrass instruments since I was a kid. I thought that's what everybody did. So <laughs> that's what I started learning to do. Beautiful, man. <laughs> well, and tell us a little bit about what brought you to North Dakota and what you're going to be doing in Kindred today. Okay. Well, we, uh, my sister-in-law, Erin Fallgator, teaches at Kindred. She's a seventh grade lit teacher. And um, so we started actually Wednesday. So we've, we've been there for two days um, doing different workshops. We all have uh, such a variety of skill sets. So I've been teaching photography classes, um, side hustle, like different classes. <laughs> She's doing master classes on theater, voice lessons. Josh is doing um, writing and, you know, guitar workshops. Um, we're getting to sing for the kids and just hang out with them. Um, so we're doing that uh, today also and then a big show at the Kindred Spirits tonight. For adults and kids. Adults. And what is the time again? Is everyone can go? Seven to eight, I think, kids can come, maybe, or eight to nine. <laughs> okay, yeah, seven, seven o'clock, Kindred. Kids can be there, then we're going to keep rocking afterwards. Okay, well, yeah. it's Friday. We can go until yeah. the bar closes. Uh, right. Is it closed in North Dakota? I don't, I don't think, think it's We just move across the street. Yeah. That's what happens. Or, uh, so, I, and expand a little bit. Um, you have quite the history as well. We're looking at what ha what did you do before you walked into the bar and met these guys? <laughs> sure. Well, I started actually at Disney World and played uh, The Little Mermaid for a long period of time and Belle and Nemo. And um, then I moved to New York City and was lucky enough to tour the country with Wicked as Glinda. And I made my Broadway debut as Wednesday Adams in The Adams Family. Then I did the revival of Evita with Ricky Martin on Broadway. And I just always loved country music. I wanted to give it a shot. And I went down to Nashville and I auditioned for The X Factor. And that was a few years ago. Wow. Um, and uh, I made it to the top 12. And then it was pretty much right after The X Factor that we got together and, mm -hmm. and started playing together. And then, and then you made it wow. to North Dakota. All yeah. The way. All the way. So <laughs> I love that. Just you, in time for the snow. You're living in Nashville now, but you still are connected. Your sister in law, you said? Is sister in law, my family's in uh, Bismarck. I graduated from Steele, so still a ton of friends in that area. Um, I used to have a nut business. If you ever went to the Kirkwood Mall called These Nuts, so, um, oh, the Kirkwood Mall. I haven't thought about can. that for a while. My dad is Dwight, so he took it over now. <laughs> so it still works. It's D apostrophe S, so it works. <laughs> um, so I was back here a lot. I would spend November, December for just about you know every year that I had it. And then I go hunting in Beach where my grandma still lives. So I'll head there this weekend. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Great. And where are you from originally? From Magnolia, Arkansas. So oh, okay. Arkansas. I moved to Nashville in 2001 for college, Belmont University, and just played with a bunch of country acts and recorded with them over the years. And Still here. And his accent's so thick, as you can tell. <laughs> a little, a little girl yesterday in the elementary school asked him if he was from London. Because <laughs> I'm sure they're just not used to hearing that Arkansas, kind of accent London. here. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not, for yeah. sure. Okay, well, we want to hear a little bit more. So, sure. and, and don't you guys? We don't have mics on these guys, so you're just we're, we're What do you think? Can you give us a thumbs up on what you think of these guys? All right. Well, what are you going to play for us next? We're going to play one of our original songs called Single Life. Okay. Yeah.
to close. Just one look in your eyes for my single life. Six feet underground, it's a new kind of high. Ain't no stopping it now. Oh, you can all come to the funeral. Oh, but I'll be wearing white. Say goodbye. Six 